Hey everyone, James here with Coffee and Comics. Friday was just a couple of days ago, and you know what that means. It's, fr it's Friday Challenge Time. It's Friday Challenge Time. So get your comic books because it's Friday Challenge Time. Yeah! Woo! Are you through? Go ahead. Are you through over there? Excuse me, everybody. That's just Deadpool's biggest fan, James Poole, acting up again. He comes out every once in a while. So as I was about to say before we were so rudely interrupted, the Friday Challenge is parody comic books. And I would like to say thank you, Alan, over at Comic Collector Geek for putting these challenges out so we can be a part of it and have some fun. Before we get into it, though, I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers, both new and old. And if you haven't yet, please, if you want to show your support, subscribe, comment, share, like. Down in the description will be affiliate links you can use. All of these options are free. So now I did not get 10 covers as Alan requested or 10 comic books I should say but I was able to pick up five so let's take a look at those okay so the first book on the list that I have for today is called Hamster Vice and it's number one and it's from 1986 check that out that's pretty cool this is a parody for the TV show Miami Vice that starred Don Johnson way back in the 80s if you remember that I remember watching that when I was a kid it wasn't too bad, it wasn't great, but I do remember the show, and that's what this is a parody of. You got hamsters on there, and they're going up against a villain uh, called Rumble Roach. And what he is is a bodybuilding cockroach, who also happens to be an axe-wielding serial killer. So that's who is there after, at least in this first issue. What do you guys think of Hamster Vice? Very cool. Next up, number two is The Great Lakes Avengers, issue number one. This came out in 2016. I believe I've showed this book in another video before. And what this issue is particularly about is these are kind of Avengers who have been kicked out of the Avengers. They're trying to do their due diligence to make their way and hopefully get back into the Avengers. This next one is called X Liefelds. And it's number one. It was kind of a one-shot. They had different covers. I have a few of them. Take a look at that. Not a bad-looking cover. And what this particular one-shot book is about is the characters that were made and created from Liefeld want to travel back in time and uh, stop all the great characters from becoming great and popular such as Deadpool. Uh, some of the characters that you'll see in this particular book is called Bloodstain, Treadmill, Yard Waste, corny names like that. They're trying to travel back in time to essentially stop the great characters that were made. So pretty cool. Nice looking cover. I picked my favorite cover of the bunch. So let me know what you think about that one. This next one is kind of a parody, but it's not really a parody because it's not really a one shot. It did have a series and it is Batmite number one. It's a pretty cool little character, Batmite. He's neat. He's little, but it's not necessarily a parody. You know, hopefully I get a pass on that one. It was a six book series for this. And what Batmite down here is trying to do is he's trying to go around and uh, fix the DC universe because it's broken. And he is spreading his, his expertise and intellect all around and having one-on-ones with the characters to boost their, their careers because I guess they're in the slumps. And that is the mission of Batmite in this series. And I've always just hung on to this for a while. I don't know why. It's not worth, you know, a great deal. But uh, I like the cover. Let me know what you think about Batmite. And the last one that I have is, like I said, I only have five, I don't have ten, is Yawn, number one. And it is a parody of Spawn, of course. And you do get an appearance of Splatman, which is a parody off of Batman, of course. Kind of neat, kind of funny. If you've never read this, this character, Yawn, gets struck by lightning and he becomes a broodling. He's kind of an insomniac, but he's... He's cursed with sleepiness, so, you know, staying up and trying to sleep at the same time. And what that does is prevent him from watching his favorite TV shows and movies. So pretty neat. Let me know what you think about Yawn. 
Okay, so that's all I got. I only have five. Sorry, I didn't have ten, but there you go. And if you're enjoying the video, you're enjoying the content, let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your comics, and enjoy your day.